Hey, you two people. Good news. Uh, despite the fact that most people said it was not possible, and it hasn't been possible for a while, uh, and the Oculus forums ridiculed me for even suggesting that it should be possible, um, I am now have the Quest 2 with Link working in Steam VR and uh, it works pretty good and oculus link is now working uh, and i will show you how you can do it uh, if you just keep watching so uh, with no further delay let's go ahead and get into the setup so you can actually play steam vr with your surface book and oculus link okay so the first thing that you'll want to do is install Oculus and there's a whole download and then it's like a five gigabyte download that you have to uh, install and uh, as part of that installation it will ask for a device and it will what will happen is it will say uh, that it can't find your quest if you choose that and you basically have to just say uh, initially you'll have to say quit setup and it will just bring you to the screen without setting up a device which is just fine but here's the secret sauce to getting it working so you want to hit the Windows key and you want to type graphics and so you're going to go to graphics settings and there's a few uh, items in here that you want to add to this list so under graphics performance preference desktop app you're going to hit browse and let me show you exactly exactly where you're going to want to go you're going to want to go to the C drive program files oculus and then you're going to want to go to support and then you're going to look for oculus runtime and then these three executables you're going to select each of them and hit add and every time you do that, it's going to add them in here. Uh, once they're in this list, you're going to want to hit the Options button, and you're going to want to tell it to use the high-performance graphics. And you want to do that for every single one and hit Save. Um, so once you've done the, the, that with those three, uh, you should be in good shape. I don't know why this one says Power Saving. This should be set to high-performance as well. Um, OK, so now you have those running and it's actually going to start working when you run oculus uh, you can use the USB-C link cable and you can also use the ports on the left side using a USB 3.0 cable whichever you prefer um, but the other thing that you're going to run into is when you run oculus it's still going to tell you your system's graphic card is incompatible but when you put on your headset and you click the settings and then Oculus Link button, and I've got to back up. So you're going to click the Oculus Link button, and it will actually bring up the dashboard. You can't see it on the, my screen right here, but it'll bring up on your dashboard. It'll say, error occurred. You have a pending hardware issue that's preventing you from starting a VR app. And you just say OK to that error. Um, but you'll be in the dashboard. And I'll see if I can get a shot of that and, and show you what that looks like. Um, but then the trick is, is it actually won't let you launch SteamVR from the dashboard because it's still telling you, hey, your computer's not classified is available even though the 1660 Ti is available in their compatibility list so the trick is going to be uh, opening up Steam VR manually so you can either uh, just go in and click the VR button or um, right click your tray icon and start VR that way but once you do you'll have in your oculus headset you will have the steam menu and if you hit the, the little menu button on your left hand it will bring up the steam menu and you can start whatever game you want 
So right now I'm loading up the lab. Okay, so you can see that it, you know, at this point it loads up nicely, uh, tracking works well, and it also has worked for any game that I've thrown at it so far, uh, which uh, so far has been the Lab, a Beat Saber, uh, just I, I think any Steam VR game is going to work if it if it runs on uh, the computer itself. It seems like compatibility is not an issue. Um, and it runs pretty well. I mean, you're, we're getting 72 frames a second, which is all you should be expecting uh, via Oculus Link right now. Maybe we'll get 90 frames per second update in a minute if you have the Quest 2. But uh, performance is good, and I'm pretty pleased uh, that this now works. Uh, I've tried a lot of these changes uh, with setting high performance uh, graphics as the default, and it didn't work in the past so whatever new update they have as of November 13th uh, the version of Oculus Link now seems to work and we are in business with Oculus Link on the Surface Book 3. I haven't tested on the Surface Book 2 but I assume it will also work if you implement the changes that I've outlined in this video. Anyways thanks for watching uh, subscribe for more great Surface and VR content. Talk to you later.